guys, what's up? Um, got a new episode of Craft Delicious here, episode 2. I hope you guys will enjoy this episode. Turn down this chat, turn up the game volume. Today, I'm going to talk about my trip at D.C., Washington, D.C., actually. And it was pretty amazing. Most people who are going to watch this have been with me. But if you didn't go, then... Or if you're not from my school, or you don't even know me in real life, then... This is basically what I think of the trip, I guess. Now, I already did a retake, as you guys can can kind of, if you remember from the last one, this is not where I left off, no. Because I did, a, I did an earlier one, and it sounded terrible, because my brother was in here trying to talk to me, and I was trying to do some... I was trying to talk about it, and I had no idea what I was... Talk oh, God. Dang it. Oh, my gosh, gotta kill this creeper. This will blow my house up. No, frickers, he blew my house up. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Wow, blew my house up. That's cool, creeper. Just blow all my crap up, I guess. Whatever. Um, she's probably going to start talking about DC a little bit. Holy crap. Stupid creepers. Holy crap. These creepers are so gay. They blow all the crap up here. Holy crap. I'm trying to put all this dirt back. You know, the first two layers is good, I guess. Get out of here, you stupid sheep. Okay, so I guess I, I'll... Wait, sorry. I'm going to talk about it now. Okay. So we went Monday. We left Monday morning at like... Like 7 o'clock in the morning. It's about... Is that right? About 7 o'clock is when we left? Yeah, we left about... 7 o'clock. Uh, if I can get on here. We left about 7 o'clock and it was like a 12-hour trip. And it took us, like, forever. But we stopped every two hours so that, you know, we could, like, stretch our legs, get snacks and stuff. Things like that. You know, what you have to have on a big trip like that. Holy crap, I already ran out. Dang it. That'll be good for now, though. I'll just put the rest of the wood back. We left, and then we got there, what, about... Oh, I don't know. Four, five o'clock. Somewhere around there. And so, we got to go toward the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum, which was pretty cool. We got to go see that. It's pretty amazing to go see. Because there's a lot of neat stuff. I actually have a shirt on that I got from there that I'm wearing right now. And it's just pretty cool. I'm going to try and get this uh, roof. I'm going to redo this roof. As soon as I make another... thing of tools there that's good we'll redo this roof while I'm talking went to the air the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum which is really cool because it took a lot of pictures a lot of cool neat planes and stuff then we went to then we departed we went to go to have dinner later which is pretty nice a little buffet place and then we went to a Best Western Hotel. That's where we stayed. And that's where we were going to stay. And I got with my roommates. Everybody had roommates. The guys were on the first or the second floor. And the girls were on the third floor. Because we were all separated. The girls and the boys took different buses. Well, duh. You know how that's, you know that's going to turn out. I mean, they're not dumb. And... Yeah, we went there. And we just kind of spent the night. And then the next day... Then we went to the Iwo Jima Memorial, and we got to take pictures of that, which is pretty cool. 
And then we went to the Arlington National Cemetery, and we got to go see some pretty neat people, like, um, we got to go to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and watch the Changing of the Guards, which is pretty cool. And we got commended by Mr. Fisher, one of our, um, leaders there, for being better than last year's group. It's pretty cool. He said that we all took our hats off and stuff, and if we had to talk, we covered our mouths, and we were all really quiet, and that was pretty cool. We got commended by him, and so we all got like a round of applause, and it was it was pretty awesome, I guess. We got to go see the most decorated World War II pilot, who had like 26 medals and the Medal of Honor, too. We got to go see John F. Kennedy's uh, grave and his brother. That was pretty cool. Um, I never really got any pictures, because I think my camera died that day. So that kind of stinks. Um... Let's go make this one higher. Come on. There we go. And we then... Then we went to the National Archives. We got to go see the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights and stuff. And that was really cool to go see all of that. And then, that was, yeah, that was just pretty cool. Then we got to go see the museum. And I've actually been there before, because I went there with JRNYLC, Junior National Young Leaders Conference. And it was a pretty cool thing, because it had like four, it was like, it's like six stories tall and stuff, and it's really new. But it's all about news, like news and stuff, like a bunch of news. And that was pretty fun to go see. Because I'd already been there, and so that that was kind of cool for me to go see. So we're gonna make a roof here. Just so I don't bore you guys too much, you know. But it's kind of hard for me to do stuff while I'm talking. So I'm trying to make this a roof. I mean, just something simple. I'm gonna run out here, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna run out. Need to go get me some more. Here we go. Oh, shoot. And then we went back to our hotel and spent the night. And my roommates, oh, I don't think I told you guys my roommates. They were Nick Wilson, Damien Gibson, and Austin Nelson. And we had a lot of fun. Um, that was fun just staying there. And so the next day, uh, we got to go to the Ford Theater the next day, which is pretty cool because I'd been there too. Yeah, I'd been to a lot of places in Washington last time I was here. Actually, I remember, I didn't go to Link Force Theater last time I was there. I remember, I remember I went like a few years ago, but not the last time I was there, for sure. Let's kill this cow. Yeah, die cow. Come on, let's get some leather. Wow, no leather? I got three cows and I had no leather. Wow, kind of sucks. There we go. Yes, we got to go to the four seater, then we got to go to the Capitol building. The Capitol was pretty cool, we got to go tour it, our, our tour guy was pretty cool. We got these headsets, and every time he talked, we could hear through them. And that was pretty cool, because then he didn't have to like speak like super loud, so we could hear. And then we went to the Natural History Museum, and that was really cool, because there was a lot of neat stuff in there, and I'd been there before too. And that was pretty neat. I never got to see everything, because we didn't have a lot of time. Uh, and then we got to go to the Nationals baseball game, and that was pretty awesome. It, the game went seven to, I think they won. The Nationals won seven to four. I got a shirt there. It was like thirty bucks, but I think it was worth it. It was pretty awesome. Uh, they hit back to back home runs. It's just pretty cool to me. I'm gonna go kill this pig over here. Let's go kill this pig. Uh, we didn't get to see the whole game because we had to leave like half way through the eighth inning so we almost got to see the whole game though yeah they hit back-to-back -back home runs and they were playing the Pittsburgh Pirates and they won against them because that was I mean that of course they were gonna win because they're leading their division anyways then we then we went back to our hotel 
We had to leave because of a time schedule we had to keep and stuff. We had to go back to our hotel. But Coach Sister told us that who is my group leader got he told us that they won like seven to four. And the next day that was our day to leave and we went and we drove like two hours, two and a half hours to Monticello. That was the home of Tom or Je Thomas Jefferson and his house is actually on the back of the nickel. Which is pretty cool and I got to take pictures of it and I'd actually been there before too. I went outside and I was like I swear, I think I've been here before, and I was like, no, it's probably just me, though, and I, and I got home, and my mom was like, do you remember being there? And I was like, yes, I thought I had been there before. Yeah, so I'd been there before, too. Then we just basically went home, and we went back to middle school, and it was like, our middle school, Cherokee Middle School, and it was like, what, 11 o'clock? And everybody was tired, and everybody said their goodbyes and stuff, and it was just nice, nice place. I'm gonna make me a furnace. I actually haven't made that yet. Let's make one of these. So, hot topic. Nice. There we go. There we go. Now, if I had some coal, I might actually use this to make the make the pork chop a little bit better. Or let's use this. No, nope. eat. There we go. I gained a little bit of health back. But yeah, that was basically my trip in Washington, D.C. And so, I think I'll just end it right there. That'll be good. Uh, I can make the next episode maybe tomorrow or something. Yeah, that'll be good. So, I'll see you guys later. Don't, I'll fix this up later. I'll, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, if you haven't watched the first one, go watch it now. And I will basically see you guys later. Peace.